How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to bring you guys with a Scottish Premiership table prediction video. Unfortunately due to COVID-19, the Scottish Premiership was at a halt and obviously they stopped. It was suspended and Celtic won the title. Not only that, Hearts got relegated last season due to this being postponed, stopped completely and unfortunately that was the case for the season. The relegation last year had a lot to play for, however at the top of the league, it really didn't have anything to play for and Celtic did run away with it in the end. That was Celtic's ninth consecutive season where they have won the title in the Scottish Premiership and it could be 10, I'm not too sure but I think is nine. It has always been a battle between Rangers and Celtic and Rangers were definitely there at one point in the season but Celtic did overtake them with Rangers slip ups against Hamilton etc. Unfortunately Rangers did not have a good end to the season with having slip ups obviously you got to see that they're in the contribution for the Europa League which actually bearing in mind they're still in the competition got by Leverkusen in obviously the second leg and it didn't really go too too well in the first leg as I was actually attendance in that game. But today it's all about the premiership predictions in Scotland and who will win the title and who will get relegated I'll be mentioning in this video. But if you didn't know 60% if you're not already subscribed to my channel, so make sure you fix that and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed to my channel already. Leave a like on this video, 150 likes will be greatly appreciated and the Scottish content is back for you guys. I don't have a favourite team in Scotland, however, can't wait to go to more Scottish games in the future and definitely be in attendance when the fans are allowed back in the stadium. The first game of the season is going to be Aberdeen versus Rangers at the Pidogi Stadium for a 12 30 kickoff and it's going to be a tough game for both sides. Nevertheless, boys and girls, let's get into this table prediction video for the Scottish Premiership and see where we rank your teams. Now, unfortunately, in last place, I've got to put a team and that team is going to be Hamilton. I'm sorry to base it on their stadium, but I've seen the stadium, I've seen the facilities and I've seen the team playing. It's not to the best of standards. However, one game which caught my eye last season was them beating Rangers 1-0. Absolutely against Rangers and beat them 1-0 away at Ibrox Stadium. So if they have the fighting character for that one game and put it onto the performers in each and every game this season, you never know. They could be a mid-table team, but for me personally, I think Hamilton will finish in last place. I don't think they got much to them. I don't think they've got much quality in the squad. And I think this season may be the season where they go down. 11th place have gone with Ross County. And you just say Ross County and you just question... What much have you got to offer in the league? I do not want to slate any club in this division because, quite frankly, I don't know too much about the league. But with the clubs I do know, I do know quite a bit about. When you say Ross County, it doesn't scream to you with any specific players which really do thrive out to your brain. Well, for me, it doesn't anyway, and I'm pretty stupid. But if I've got to be completely honest with you, I just don't feel the quality of football there from what I've watched in the past. And for me personally, Ross County, I'm going to put in 11th place. Now, in 10th place, I have gone with St Johnson. I just don't think they're going to have as much to offer as they did last season. They had periods of last season where I think they got a result against Rangers. They had a really good performance against some other team in the league and to be fair last season it didn't perform too badly but I think this season they could have a drop in performance. In ninth place I've gone with St Mirren. I just think St Mirren I've, I've heard a lot about their fans. I, I've got to give credit to the fans. I've seen so many clips on social media. A lot of you St Mirren fans actually want me to go to St Mirren games. So this season if fans are not back in the stadium I should be up in St Mirren one time this season. So look out for my channel. Subscribe for them. obviously more information if I do do so. St Mirren are a very small club but they do have that bit of quality to their style of play which I've definitely seen this season. They got a draw against Aberdeen which I watched the game on TV and to be fair to them it was quite a decent game. They played very well. They played quite expansive. And they put a good performance on against Aberdeen. One of the best teams in the league. But this season, I think St. Mirren are going to finish 10th. And hopefully, there's a surprise there. I want smaller teams in the league to really do push on for the top top, top half of the table. But money plays into play. And to be fair, these, these teams financially can't compete to the teams like Rangers, Celtic and Aberdeen, Motherwell. Because they just don't have the financial support like them sort of teams. In 8th place, I've gone with Dundee United. Now, Dundee United were the champions of the league. And obviously, the second division of Scottish football. And I think they're going to push on to do a really good season this year. Obviously what Dundee want to do is stabilise themselves in the top division and try and prove themselves year by year to try and see if they can succeed to be one of the best teams in the league and this is where I think the start of it will occur and they're going to have a successful season by staying up by a convincing amount. I've heard a lot about the Dundee fans, I've heard a lot about the Dundee you know, stadium or the atmosphere around the area and I would love to go to a game like that. I think the, 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 the rivalry over there is Aberdeen versus Dundee and that's another one which uh, which could be a good one for the North West I think it is or no that's the North East. My geography, man. But regardless of where the location is, I'd love to go to a Dundee game and hopefully I can get that ticked off this season. In seventh place, we're going Kilmarnock. And to be honest, I'm just going to put this team bang average in the league because I don't really know much about Kilmarnock. I want to go to every single stadium in the Scottish Premiership. And to be fair, Kilmarnock is definitely up there as one of the ones I want to go to as soon as possible. But quite frankly, the football, the players, the club, the fans, I have generally no clue about them whatsoever. But if you guys are Kilmarnock fans, please tell me, are you good fans? Have you got good home fans, away fans? What, what preferably would you want me to go to a home game or away game? And uh, yeah, playing wise, football wise, I'd love to know your opinions on it. So if you're a Kilmarnock fan, leave a comment down below and tell me what your club's all about. In sixth place to go with Hibernian, there might be a quite of a shock to you guys, but for me personally, I just think Hil Hibernian have got to do better in the league than they have last season. Hibernian finished seventh in the table last season, so for me putting him 
with sixth place, you know, one place up. They should be fighting a bit more higher in the table. In my eyes, personally, that's an outside point of view, but there could be some situations in the club which I do not know about. Obviously, I don't know a lot about Scottish football, but for the certain parts I do know, I do know quite a bit. But for this instance, I'm going to put Hibernian in sixth place to finish this season. Hopefully, I am proved wrong. I know Hibernian had a strong end to the season last year. So hopefully this season, they start with that momentum. They finish off last season, starting with this season and continue with that momentum of getting the wins, getting the dubs and getting them up that leaderboard. Now, what's also going to be a replica in this table is going to be Livingston. Now, I just think Livingston are that bogey team for every single club in that league. So I put Livingston in fifth place and I think that's where they're going to finish, finish this season yet again. If you didn't know, Rangers and Celtic have about 75% of the stadium when, fan, when fans do come for that fixture. And yet again, Livingston can still get a result regarding themselves technically being away from home. With Celtic and Rangers fan having a fan advantage in this, I just don't see how, how Livingston can keep up to the standard and standing of football where they set against these big teams like this and get results out of it when when considering the fans from Rangers and Celtic have the majority of the stadium. So that's where you got to give credit, credit to Livingston players that will finish a fifth last season. I think this season they're going to do the same again. They haven't lost anyone, I don't believe. And I just think they're going to fight again. They're going to fight their asses off and they're going to finish fifth place and produce more masterclass performances in the league this season. And cause more shocks. That's another thing they're going to do. They're going to cause more shocks. So here comes the big top four. I'm going to say this in the muddle just so you know, but the four remaining teams are Aberdeen, Celtic, Rangers, Rangers and Motherwell. So, where do we start in fourth place? For me personally, I'm going to put Motherwell in fourth place. I think they're going to get fourth place and they're not going to get third, but it will be a battle between third and fourth place between Aberdeen and Motherwell. And that's where my third place Aberdeen comes into play. place. I've been to a Motherwell versus Aberdeen fixture where Aberdeen did beat Motherwell 3-0 away from home. And to be honest with you, it was a dominant performance from Aberdeen. And I've vlogged that on my channel if you have not already. Link me in the, in the description if you've not already watched my Motherwell versus Aberdeen vlog from last season. Time will tell and I think Aberdeen have enough quality to beat Motherwell for that third spot. However, in second place and then winning the league this season is yet to come, which is going to be now. So we all know that Celtic have won the title the last 9-10 years. But this season, will that change? That is the question. I think the whole of football and the whole of English football would love to see someone else win the title. And would that be Rangers? Yeah, again, that's the question which we will not know until the end of the season. I personally think, we all know that Celtic have got a lot of quality in that team. They've won the title the last nine years. But Rangers are onto something very special very soon. Steven Gerrard is a great manager. Obviously, he had a bad end to last season with, obviously, the Europa League and all that, etc. But you've seen the fixtures and the friendlies they've had recently. They've won 4-0. They've won 2-0. And they've won 2-0 again. They have not conceded a goal in pre-season just yet. And they've played some quality teams. They have played French sides Lyon and Nice. And then they've played Motherwell where they've demolished them 4 Nil. So it's, it's a question of, hold on a minute, this could be the season Rangers could win the title. Today, Rangers went on to sign former Brighton centre-back Leon Balogun, who is an absolute baller. So any Rangers fan watching this, with you signing Leon Balogun, he is definitely going to bring something special to your defence. And he's going to bring that solid solidity, the partnership between Goldson, the former Brighton player, and obviously um, Leon Balogun. It's going to be something special for the Scottish Premiership. So I'm going to back Rangers. I'm going to back Rangers to win the title. And I think Rangers are going to win the title and stop Rangers winning the 10th, 11th title in a row. That is not me having anything against Celtic, but I just think this time time round, this is going to be Rangers year. It's going to be Rangers year and I hope it will be. As mentioned, I have nothing against Celtic but I've got to pick one and for me personally, I just think Rangers will do it. Celtic are a very good team though. Fans are incredible. Rangers fans are incredible. Both clubs are incredible and to be fair, whoever wins the title will obviously be deservedly so but hopefully for me, personally, I think Rangers will do it with the quality of in the squad. Something's coming. They've got Ryan Kent. They've got absolute top ballers in that squad and I just think one year's coming for Rangers to win the title and this year will be the year Rangers win the title in the Scottish Premiership. Now, I could be completely wrong. Rangers can have a downfall this season. Celtic can absolutely run away with the title. But it's all about predictions and we've got to predict something at the end of the, end of the day. I don't want any hate for this video. It's all personal opinion. If you're Celtic fans, do not be too disheartened with what I've got to say. I respect your club as much as I respect Rangers. Aberdeen, Motherwell, for you, for you two, I respect each other very much. So, I've been to a Motherwell game. I've been to an Aberdeen game. I've been to Aberdeen Rangers. I've been all sorts of games in Scotland recently. I've obviously Rangers versus... Uh, what's it called? By Leverkusen in the Europa League. And to be fair, all the atmosphere in Scotland is incredible. And so far, Scottish football, Scottish fans have not disappointed me one bit. So for me personally, I can't wait to go to Scottish Premiership games when fans are allowed back in stadiums. But if you guys have enjoyed the video, then make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And comment down any anything you know regarding this video you want me to change in the table wise obviously there's a lot of things here i don't really know about in the lower end of the scottish premiership table but you guys can correct me and tell me what you think i should change in this video in the comment section down below 150 likes we absolutely greatly appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the video very very soon take it easy stay safe and i'll see you guys at the scottish fixture very very soon goodbye guys